Hey everybody, it's Laura. I'm back to film my April monthly spread, I guess. <laughs> um, I have a whole lot of things I have to write down and I'm going to be very happy to have like an overview of the month in my brain. <sighs> yes, so I just got this kit in the mail from Harriet Wright Designs. Um, she's from the UK, so I did order this quite a while ago, but it is March 31st, and I got here before April, and I'm excited. <laughs> um, I did pick up the birthday month kit because April is my birthday, and it's not particularly like birthday themed. It's just really pretty. <laughs> um, it has light gold foil. Hopefully you can see that, um, or just gold. I can't remember what her, like what it's called in her shop, but you have the two top bars, and then I think these are all like washi strips with like a little star sprinkly kind of pattern. We have flags of different kinds, quarter boxes or labels of different kinds, more like little washi strips, like single sized, and then um, sidebar boxes. And then you have six boxes that are like whited out in the middle, and then this like happy birthday strip. Um, and then I think these would be like the width of two boxes, um, like washi strips. And then you also get this clear sheet, which actually is kind of like the like sticker sheet itself seems kind of hollowy sparkly. It's kind of interesting. Um, we'll see if it does anything when I put it on the paper. Um, but you have scripts, happy birthday and bows. And then here you have teeny tiny little heart numbers. Um, you'll see them better, obviously, when I put them on the spread as well as four more bows. So that's exciting. Um, I don't know where to put everything. So obviously these go up at the top and then we have this like large happy birthday. I wonder, maybe I'll do that like all the way across the bottom and then only use probably three of these because I don't really need four. I really only need three. And then I can put a box here and then I would need a box up in this corner and then I have the two top bars hmm well that's an idea I don't know what her papers like so I'm going to err on the side of caution and white these black lines out um, because I just don't know and then I'm gonna white this out also because I don't want that peeking through that beautiful floral. I'm also going to white out the moons. <laughs> I just don't care. Sometimes I care when I'm teaching because I'm like, what is up with you guys? But in general, oh, I just realized we're not gonna have holidays. Okay, um, that always throws me for a loop, but it's hard when it's a birthday kit because obviously you, uh, like the shop owner isn't going to know what month you want it for. Okay. Hopefully this goes down well. Ooh, yes. Oh my gosh. That is so pretty. Okay. Then we're going to put one box here. Um, maybe feels kind of weird to put like a a box that you can write in but I don't know I guess that's not a big deal okay we'll just put this one and I never know when I get a new shops kit do things go on the lines over the lines in between the lines I never know. Never, ever, ever. And then I want another box up here. So what's going to go on top of that? This strip. Um, so maybe I'll take... I think I'll take this one. 
and I'm assuming they're gonna go in the lines. Yes, because we don't want to cover the Sunday. Her paper seems kind of thick, but this is very, very black, and I just don't want to take any chance of it showing through. Um, this tab is on the purple, so that's kind of a problem. Because I don't think I can white out on top of, <laughs> I guess maybe a little bit. I'm whiting out like on top of plastic. I don't know how well it's gonna work, like hold up in the long run. Who knows? Okay, let's try, I'm gonna start over here and we're gonna use the, that looks ugly. Um, we're gonna use the box to help us and hopefully you can't see the Sunday through like the days of the week over top. I don't think you can see them. Mm, pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay. And then this side has Thursday through notes and I'm not gonna worry about the purple because this side has more of the like pattern part. Hopefully that's straight. I'm not really sure. It's pretty good. Okay, and then we have more like box things that can go down the page. I think I'll start with the floral. Yeah. I'm not sure how these are gonna get spaced now that I've put that like washi at the bottom because I'm not sure <laughs> how, how that's gonna work. But I didn't want to cut the happy off and have it be on the other side because it would have been weird, I think. I mean, I guess I could have cut the floral off, but then it would have been like, again, on the other side. Okay, I'm just gonna wipe this line out and we're just gonna pretend that they're not supposed to touch. And I think that's fine. <laughs> oh, I guess I could put a, let me put one of these in here just to take up some of the space. Cute, okay. Just white, simple. Her foiling is really pretty. Her paper is also really pretty. Okie dokie, so I have one of those left, which I don't normally have left, but that's fine. Um, I do have my birthday, my mom's birthday here and here, and I just feel like it's going to be weird having like two boxes right there. I don't know, but like I want to. <laughs> so this pink one with the balloon I'll put for my birthday. Oops. And then I think I'll take a floral for my mom. This one with like the confetti. Okay, let me see if I can move that over. Her paper removes really easily also, it seems like. Okay. That's better. That's a lot going on in that corner, but that's okay. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know what else to put. Because <laughs> um, I've got two more of those. 
and I feel like they should get spread around, but I don't know where. Um, I could do the 9th and, oh, the, see, the 20th is over there again. Um, I think I'm just going to put them on random days and make it look pretty instead of worrying about anything. <laughs> so we'll put one there and I think one over here on the 18th. Like I said, just spread them out, make it look cute. I don't have anything in particular on those days, so I think that's fine. Okay, um, man, I have so much stuff to mark. Um, all right, so on the first, oh, I should do, let's see. So we have a happy birthday for my mom. And a happy birthday for me. I have two coworkers' birthdays and an aunt's birthday this month also, but I don't know. I don't know that I'm gonna use one of these for that. Yeah, this paper is definitely like hollow-ish. It's really pretty when you like shift it around. Okay. Like I said, not sure about the other birthday. Um, I'm going to mark my payday, I think with one of these flags and then a script. So maybe just this pink bow. Right there, and then we have a little payday script. There's two of them, but I only get paid once a month. Beautiful. Okay. I just don't even know. I'm going to put the this month script up here. And then I'm going to use the goal one on the third one. And then I'll put important on the middle one. The first two will both be bills, but there isn't just a bills header and I don't want to use a bill due, um, even though I could, because I use those like on the days. So maybe I'll use those flags for my other bill dues. Bills due, I don't know what I'm saying. And I think I'll just grab some of these. Oops. Okay. So up here on the first. And the second I have bills due. Let's see, we only get four of them. And then I'll do the 15th, the 17th. I wonder if I have more like gold things from a previous um, like a, another monthly kit that does those clear overlays because then I could put one. Whoops. Clearly, I need lines. Okay, so there's Sprint and Amazon. 
This one is my car insurance. This one is Simply Gilded. I'm going to put them for my car insurance and then my phone bill. And then I'll see if I have other ones for my subscription. Um, oh, none of those are my gold. I'll have to find that later because the foil things I have up there are not my gold one. <laughs> and then I have... Um, Glam Planner on the 11th if I choose to keep it. I forgot to cancel it last month, so I accidentally got that one. That's that's okay, I guess. Um, I just realized I probably shouldn't have put this in the corner because my date is going to go in that corner. Maybe I can layer it over that bow. Um, 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 um. I think I might do that first because these date covers are real tiny and I don't think they're going to interrupt anything um, that I need to lay down. And I already have like my big boxes down. Um, so I think I will put, can you guys tell I'm like stalling <laughs> with my actual plans because I have so much to mark and I'm like, eh. so let me show you what these are. They're just like little pink hearts. They're adorable, they're foiled, and they're just gonna be so cute. So I'm going to go off camera, upload my footage, do that, and then I'll gather my thoughts and get my gold binder. <laughs> all right, you guys, I'm back. I put down all the hearts, and I was super, super shocked that I didn't have to white out any of the like double digit numbers. The hearts, like if you line them up perfectly, they fit perfectly. I wasn't sure because they're really tiny, but I love how dainty they look and it's just adorable. And I did manage to cover the bow, like that little bow there with the date number. So I didn't have to like put the date number somewhere else, um, which is fine because it's my birthday. It's, it's fine. <laughs> um, and then there are, um, there's like a 31 and then the rest of these just have like a little asterisk in them. I didn't even notice those at first, but they're there. And then I did find um, like one of these clear overlay things from my newest addiction from one of my B6 monthlies. And I had some bill dues left. So I put one on the 11th and one on the uh, 17th. Um, but I'm going to put some little um, symbols by those, I think. I have these like gray, um, these little gray things. So, um, I think I'll take the envelope for my glam planner and this little like dolly with the boxes, <laughs> which is a little intense for a Simply Gilded box, but because it's a box and Glam Planner is not a box, I figured that works. I'm going to get charged on the 3rd for my Hungry Root delivery on the 10th, so I think I'll take another flag for that. Hopefully I didn't want to use these flags for anything else because I'm just marking all of the payments of all the things. And I have this little box sticker. Oops, I was going to use that for the delivery. Never mind. I had actually put it on a different sheet <laughs> um, when I was doing a plan with me. So I'll just write HR in that little blank spot. That's fine. Okay. So then I have a Hungry Root delivery on the 10th, like I said. I think I'm going to mark that with just a little tiny flag. We have these small ones, and I actually have a HelloFresh on the 1st, so we're just going to use some real small, small flags, because that's not a huge deal. So we're going to mark, I don't know when else I'll get Hungry Root, because I usually get it a few times, but... I don't know. We'll see. So I'm just going to put the little box right there. 
And then I think I have, yes, I have like a little grocery one that I'll put next to here. Okay. Oh my gosh. Then I also have physical therapy on the first and I'm going to use a label of some sort. There's a lot going on on that day, so I'm going to just take this white one. And we're going to cover April Fool's Day because I don't know that I care. Um, I don't have any, like, doctor kind of icons, but on the My Newest Addiction one, I have, like, a little sports bra. I guess there's a shoe, too, but whatever. I grab this one first. And I'll just put that in the corner here, um, and then I'll write my physical therapy appointment. Oh my gosh, what else? I have so much, so many stickers over on the side. I'm losing track. Okay, so the first was Bill's HelloFresh Physical Therapy. Tuesday, I have my Pilates and my car payment bill, and then I have an interview. Um, it's the follow-up interview to one that I had last week. So I'm going to take this box that's super pretty. We're just going to have all the boxes right here because I have an interview on Wednesday also. So we're just going to line them up. Okay, so physical therapy interview. Um, what am I going to use for an interview? I've got like two little hearts. Um, hmm, that's tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Let's see if I have... I really don't, though. Looking for any other sort of little icon. Oh, I have the, like... Oh, I have a paper clip. I used a paper clip in one of my weekly spreads, too. How about the paper clip and the thumbtack? Is this cut? <laughs> um, yeah, cute. Okay. Paperclip, thumbtack, done. Interview, interview, and it has like a pink background. Those are from my newest addiction also, but that works perfectly. Um, I will probably either tutor or go to Pilates this day. And I did pull out my Moose and Mitten stickers. I think I'm going to use this light green for Pilates this month. Um, even though the kit comes with bows, I think that's just what I'm going to use, um, to make them stand out a little bit, but I'll put that down later, uh, once I figure that out, because until my bill goes through on the second, I can't schedule Pilates classes, and I don't know if the girl wants tutoring, so we're moving on. All right, the fourth, I have an ultrasound on my leg, so I'm going to take another box, For that and I'm gonna go this way to line it up with the birthday box okay again a little like doctor something or other um, I don't know <laughs> There's a shoe. Okay, maybe I'll use this little shoe. I don't want something real big. So we'll use the little shoe like we did with the sports bra. All right. Then on the 5th, that's my mom's birthday, 
This is Girls' Day, and I have a Girls' Night sticker, but I never have a Girls' Night. I always, we like get together during the day because we're old. <laughs> um, so I think I'm going to use this because I never get to. I don't know where to put it though now that I've got those balloons right there. Um, okay, I think I'm going to go into the sidebar a little bit, but that's where I like that best. That is from Rose Colored Days. All right, what's next? Um, 7th, 8th, I've got nothing. The 9th is um, the SAT for my students. Um, I think I might just use these little pink strips. We have three days of testing this month and I have some like testing script stickers. I'm gonna put these not quite at the bottom. Oh, they don't quite fit across. Let me try to center this one. Hmm. Okay. And then I'll put this one over Passover Begins. I don't know that it, I care, but that's just what we'll do. And then we'll pop this one up because her stickers remove. Just move it over a little and center it. Do I have three testing? Ugh, I only have two testing. Goodness gracious. Um... Okay, these are from Sticker Bloom, by the way. I'm going to put them on the 9th and the, what is this, the 12th? And then on the 19th, I'll figure out something else. Um, I'll just put a little bow and then I'll write it, I think, because that's just a makeup testing day, I believe. Something like that. Maybe it's testing, I don't know. I think I'm only proctoring on the 12th. I think the 9th I'm a backup proctor, like bathroom breaks, but then the 12th I don't think I am. Oh my gosh, okay. This is also my coworker's birthday and my aunt's birthday, so. Um. I think I'll take a flag. Maybe I'll go this way with it. Just so it's different from my like food deliveries. <laughs> I don't know that I have any like um balloons or anything so I'm just gonna make a little list with these little asterisks oops and I'll put both birthdays and then while I'm thinking about it I'll mark my other co-worker's birthday on the 20th Let me grab the other flag these flags are everything's tiny <laughs> um okay so I won't use a little asterisk there because it's just one person, but we'll do that. All right, so I have my glam planner bill testing. My boyfriend might be in town the 13th, 14th, I don't know. This is car. Um, I have a little car icon I think I'm gonna stick in there. This is from the My Newest Addiction sheet because I don't mark bills in that planner. I only mark them in this planner, so. That's nice. Okay. This is nothing. Um, Simply Gilded Bill. The 18th is nothing. This is testing. This is birthday. The 21st through the 27th, I have nothing. The 28th is my Sprint and Amazon. And then that's payday. I feel like I should bump payday up to the top where all the other like money related things are. 
see if I can move this. Wow, her sticker paper is something else. How glorious. Okay. That leaves me lots of room at the bottom for things. Look how busy the top part of the month is. And then it's like nothing. Nothing at all. Oh my goodness. So I still have some flags and boxes left. I still have these little washi strips. Um, the bows and the asterisks. And then these long. I think that's what these are. Yeah, these are all like long washi strips. Um... Hold it. Nope. And then I have the like the ones that are like the length of two boxes. So that's what I have left in the kit. Um, as well as this sticker sheet. Super pretty. And then like I said, I think I'll use the green, um, this light green bow from Moose and Mittens with gold foil to mark Pilates. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, there's only seven of them. I'm going to need nine because I get a bonus Pilates. Maybe I'll switch back and forth between the green and the pink, something like that. I don't know. Okay, I think that is everything that I know for this month. Hopefully that was not too much. <laughs> I know it was a lot for me, but um, I don't know. It's better once it's out of my brain and on paper, so... I prefer that. <laughs> and then these boxes are just deco and those ones are just in there for, again, deco, I guess. Um, and then over here, I put my bills and my goals for Instagram and YouTube for the month. Okay, I'm going to go and I'm going to go figure out my week for this coming week because like I said, it's that super busy week and I have a lot to prep because I have to go back to work tomorrow after my week-long spring break. <laughs> All right, I will see you guys in the next video. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, um, hit the thumbs up if you liked this video. Let me know if you've tried Harriet Wright Designs before. I highly recommend. This kit is beautiful. The paper is gorgeous. You can reposition the stickers. Um, you get a lot in the kit and I don't know. And this was not even like, this is just a birthday kit, like not even like an actual monthly kit that, you know, would have maybe holidays or something. I'm not sure what her regular monthlies have. So yeah. Okay. I'm actually going to go now because it's almost eight o'clock at night and I have stuff to do. So <laughs> I will catch you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.